So now let's simplify a more complicated square root. Say I give you the square root of 500. Whoops. All right, that looks better. All right, so again, first thing we do is we, tr we try to split up 500 into its prime factors. The goal being to get a perfect square out of it. So 500, let me see the easiest factorization, is 5 times 100, right? And the 5 can come down. But notice that 100 is equal to 10 times 10. Now, we can keep boiling 10 down because we know that it's it can be factored down to actual primes. But note that 500 is equal to 10 squared times 5. And so if we put the 10 squared under the radical, that will cancel out. So now that we've found our perfect square, we can just plug it in. So 500 is equal to the square root of 10 squared times the square root of 5. And again, when you have the square root of something squared, these two operations cancel out, and so your final result is that 500, square root of 500 is equal to 10 times the square root of 5.